Welcome back, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon. Thank you guys for stopping by. Today, we're digging deeper into the bat spell. We're going to watch some amazing three-star Town Hall 10 on 10 strategies that employ the bat spell. The first one, some Electrone action. But also, I just wanted to address right at the beginning of this video, I know that there's a lot of people that are saying, that are suspecting that this update is going to be extremely underwhelming. And I just have to tell you, I, I can't tell you how many sneak peeks there are. I can't tell you when the update is going to drop or what is going to be added that we haven't heard about already. But I can tell you this, go back and look at previous Clash of Clans updates. Was there ever an update where you just saw one or two sneak peeks? Or did you usually see more, like three? or four or five or six or seven. I'm just saying, if you look at the history, if you really dig into it, you can see a trend. There usually is a trend and just like stocks, past performance does not guarantee future past. Pa well, you know what I mean. There's no guarantee, but what I'm just saying is just don't get upset yet. It's early on, it's long before Christmas and hopefully Gala Santa or Super Supercell Santa Claus, Super Claus, Super Seller Claus. Anyway, there'll be more gifts under the tree, is what I'm trying to say. Alright? They're not from me. They're from Supercell. They're from Clash of Claws. Clash of Cl Claws of Clans. Alright, anyway, whatever. They coming. You guys are watching some great Town Hall 10 three star attacks and the bat spell. I mean, obviously some people feel like it's going to be useless. It's not going to work out, but I feel sincerely that there are going to be applications for it all right so brawl stars wants me to I have my notifications turned on for brawl stars i gotta i tell you i'm loving that game too okay that where, where was i where was i oh yeah yeah so i think that there are some some niche places where you can really use a skeleton spell and i think the same is going to happen for the bat spell i don't think that it's going to be widely used i feel like it is pretty much useless at Town Hall 12, except for some very edge cases. But at Town Hall 10, I think that we might see it. And right here, you can see They Coming, another great content creator, grabbing a three star against Rupa from Brash Brawlers, and uh, making it look easy right here. And the bat spells definitely helped out, even though they no longer trigger traps or the clan castle troops. So we'll let this one wrap up. And we will check out another one with a slightly different army composition. But again, we're going to be focusing on Town Hall 10 because that is where I personally feel we'll see the most use for the bat spell. All right, next up is, yes, Kylie Minogue attacking Dark from Brash Brawlers. And this, although it's a friendly attack, might have this defender saying, I can't get you out of my head after watching this three star. So it starts out with a massive number of bat spells here. Check out the use of the freeze as well, getting through a wide area of the base already. Rage, bat, and freeze doing a great job wiping out 13% of this base and perfectly setting up a lava loon attack. So you can see you got the lava hound, the balloon there ready to go, lava hounds, I should say, and the siege machine. This on the outside, clean up troops because remember, the bats only target defenses. And no, the Dark Elixir Storage is not a defense. Six years of playing this game and apparently I just learned that yesterday. All right, so watching the second phase of this attack, and this really is kind of a three phase type thing. You've got the heroes and the siege machine working in from the bottom right. They're gonna go after some more key defenses as well. So I like this. I like the idea of making it into a three stage attack. Oftentimes we just see a kill squad. Now you've got the heroes and the siege machine working their way in. They're gonna get that Inferno Tower out of the way, the defending Archer Queen. And by the time they're done, check it out. That's right, about half of this base is out of here. And now the remaining Lava Loon and minions are going to clean up the rest. Now check out the beginning of this air attack. Bottom right, that's right, just a group of balloons. We see they're heading directly for that single target Inferno. That is the last big thing in that area, gonna get it out of the way. Bottom left, you've got the Lava Hound moving in. Top right, you had a few more loons as well. The hero's trying to help out cleaning up over there. And now nearly two thirds of this base down. Great haste spell right there. Gets those balloons that went after the single target Inferno to reunite with their balloon 
br brothers or sisters. I don't want to be, you know, assigning a gender to balloons. You never know. And then the minions on the outside cleaning up. And sure enough, this looks like an overpowering three-star. Check out the king and the queen. They are even still alive on the far right-hand side of this base. Tons of troops remaining. We fast forward because nothing left to do but take down the town hall and that last storage for a solid three-star by Kylie Minogue. Now, are there other ways we can utilize the bat spell? How about in Dragon's Lair? Now, I have to admit, my good buddy, Clash Bashing, great YouTuber, if you guys want to check him out, family-friendly, extremely informative, he did it with nine bat spells, so I'm like, yeah, he could do it with nine, I could do it with eight. I could do this with eight bat spells, and no other spells except for Rage and Freeze and about 50 attempts. I should have just watched Clash Bashing's video about this and been done with it because I didn't do it exactly like he did. Kind of similar, trial and error. Gotta remember that the town hall here is that town hall that activates much like a Giga Tesla. So yeah, I did eventually get through it and it's pretty awesome. I gotta admit, it's a good feeling to get through the dragon's lair just using spells at Town Hall 12, now perhaps you could do this at 10 or 11, I don't know, but at 12 it finally worked out. Remember, the dragon never gets activated, never comes out of its lair as long as you do not drop any ground troops or deploy any heroes. So again, go check out Clash Bashing's video. He is going to give a great tutorial on how this is done, exactly how you want to drop those troops, those spells, I mean. No troops, no troops. But it is a lot of fun, and I figured I would try it out myself. Uh, because, you know, maybe the bat spell has some other specialized ways that you can use it. Obviously, it is different than anything else. Is it a waste? I don't think it's a waste of space, but at the same time, I do really feel like it is going to fill a very small purpose that a very few number of players are going to use. But hey, like I said in yesterday's video, it's another tool in the belt. It's just something else that could be used in very specialized circumstances. All right, so that is it. Three starring Dragon's Lair for the first time on this developer build, and let's move on. Let's go ahead and try something else. Something else that Clash Bashing did, and that is trying to take down a town hall with just spells. A maxed out town hall 12, no less. That's right, with the level 5 Giga Tesla. One Earthquake to activate the Town Hall. One Freeze to try to stop it. One Rage Spell, and then the rest Bat Spells. And sure enough, eventually the Bats get through the Town Hall. But this is the funny thing. Check out what happens next. They don't get through another structure. Not a single target Inferno. Nothing else goes down. Just one stinking building. So, yeah. Bat spells, they're not gonna snipe Dark Elixir storages. They're not gonna take down Town Halls. So, I don't know. Okay, here, let's just be honest. I'm gonna look at some comments. I hear this a lot, and I'm just showing you, I don't always blow sunshine up your butt. Some people think the update sucks so far, but remember what I said at the beginning of the video. I do believe that there is more coming. You also have to remember what Darian said about giving, quote, ground attacks some love and a lot of players wondering about that. Well, if you haven't seen it yet, then maybe something is still coming. Did you ever think about that? Maybe. And uh, is the bat spell going to be permanent? Yes, it is not a seasonal spell uh, just for Christmas. Uh, it is going to be permanent just like the skeleton spell was. And I love this one. This new trap is batty. You can send a whole battalion of bats in and they will win the battle. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, almost max town hall 11. The spell is so useless. A waste of time putting it into the game. I can understand. I feel like the higher town hall you get, the less effective it is going to be. And how about this one? Oh, yeah. This is an amazing spell. Totally usable like skeleton spell. I'm going to use it all the time and crush enemies base. Said no one ever. So I, I understand how you feel. Try to be a little more clear about it next time. And I like this one. People here don't realize how OP these spells can be with Lava Loon or e Loon or most air raids. They just keep claiming that the spells will be useless. Big oof, chief. Well, I agree. There could be some uses for it. And then Travis says, I need a spell to remove a non-active three-year clan leader. <laughs> I, I realize that is such a problem for some clans, but what are you going to do? Daniel says, pointless to have 45 or more obstacles on your base. You're throwing away free gems by not allowing new obstacles to appear. That is absolutely true. You're giving up free gems. And then Tiger Warfare says, Galadon, you always get things wrong. I just don't bother you about them. 
Well, Tiger, you were like the only person that ever said that, I think. And then how about this opinion on the shovel? 500 gems for one. Uno. Um, I can totally understand. But how about this? We are not rich. 500 gems in here can buy a phone. Come on, I'm not going to buy or spend that much gems to get not useful things on Clash of Clans. Okay, I want to know where you live. Because I'm going to come there to shop for phones, for gifts, for other people. All right. BB5 Buck says, my most recent Halloween obstacle is in a terrible spot, so I'm glad we have this. So yes, I do feel like some people are going to buy shovels, even if they are overpriced. And then, how did you get the level 30 Grand Warden Town Hall 11? That was a glitch. That was my error in the developer build. That is not a leak. I promise you, that was just me screwing up the developer build a little bit in the last video. And then a lot of people ask about how I record. I'm on a Mac, so I use QuickTime connected directly to my Mac to record. I know you can also use an Elgato for a PC. And then last but not least, somebody asking about the bat spell. Wow, that doesn't need to be a 10 minute video. You're right. How about two 10 minute videos dedicated to the bat spell? But don't worry, I've got more, in fact, much more update related content coming to the channel. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, stay positive, be kind to other people, be kind to each other, be kind to animals. And I'll see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Listen to that at two times speed. Why right, don't you? Is it true? Did you like the new defense called the Dark Elixir? <laughs>